This is lesson five of Maps Engine Lite. In this lesson, you're going to create a Google form that will gather some data that can be used in your Google Map. This lesson is split into two. The first part will concentrate on the creation of the form. The second part will look at the data that's been created from the form. So the first thing you really need to do is plan your form. So the best way to do that is go to your Google Drive and then create a document. Give the document a title. And then what you need to do is list down the fields that you're going to use in your Google Form. So it's important that you use location fields. So let's bullet point it. Our first field will be name of city. And this is going to be a text field. The next field, name of country, text. They're the most important two fields that you want. We can then add other fields to it. OK, so they're the fields that we're going to use in our Google Form. So the next thing we need to do is create the form. So let's go back to our Google Drive. And then we can click on New, More, Google Form. So let's give our form a title. Now the first question that we want is name of city. So let's copy and paste that into our first question. We want this to be a text field and we want it to be required. Done. Let's add a new one. Back to our document, name of country. Text. Required. Done. And then we go ahead and complete the rest of the fields that we have from our Google Doc. OK, so now I've added all the questions that I'm going to ask in my Google Form. Please note that the names of the questions are the names of the fields. So you must be careful not to use any special characters in these names of fields. If you use a special character, then Google Maps Engine Lite will not recognize the name of the field. So it's very important that you don't use any special characters. Special characters include question marks, asterisks, slashes, minus signs, plus signs, etc. So avoid using those kind of characters. So we've created our form. And now what we need to do is populate our form. So I'm going to go to our live form. Name of city. Country. They visited. I'm now going to go through and submit several forms. I've submitted several forms now, so this concludes this lesson. We'll take a look at the data from these forms in the next lesson.